Hey, Mandalore fans, I'm Fish Krakowski. I'm here with Nathan Martin uh, Bye. Here to talk about Mandalorian chapter 12 called The Siege. Yeah. And that's another word like Eris, where I just felt like there's two ways to pronounce it. And then I thought about it a little and it's like, no, there's really only one way to say siege. Anyway, that useless aside, um, <laughs> what did you think about The Siege, Nathan? Uh, I thought this was the best episode of the show ever. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I loved it. I thought that this not only tied back to the main plot that we've been kind of waiting to get back to, but at the end of this episode, I was like, oh, we, we're going to go. This is happening. Something is actually happening now. And I, and it just like really ramped me up. And uh, like, and it, even though it like the, the action in it was so good and it was directed by Carl Weathers, I thought that was really super badass. And it, the, the, the the pacing of the action in this episode is exactly what makes movies like Die Hard and Speed so good. It's like solution, problem, solution, problem, solution, and escalation, escalation, escalation. When they're in that transport going on through the thing and you're just like, oh, well, how are they going to get out of here? I'm not going to lie. When, when the Raven Crest shot that one uh, TIE fighter, I was like, who is that? Like it, it, I completely forgot that Mandel left. And I was like, oh, it's him. And I literally go, I was like, oh, <laughs> I turned okay. into a kid. I just oh, turned man. into a complete kid. Okay. Well, that's great. I, I, I also liked it. Um, and I don't have quite, how many, how much coffee did you drink this morning? <laughs> I'm, I'm a full, I'm a full pot in, man. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I know. I, what, what I loved about this episode is that it did bring us back to the Mandalorian story proper and it did it in a very Star Wars actiony way so it's just like go 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 like from the from kind of the first scene well I mean let's let's sort of break the let's break it apart so I mean break it up yeah yeah basically we have like Mando in the wire like you know that the the funny opening scene with with baby Yoda in the wire I mean that was that was terrific and then we we sort of uh you know, we're then we're going to Navarro and we have those Pondo Babas, which if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna try and there we go. Are. These these butt face guys. <laughs> like everybody <laughs> loves those butt faces, right? And so there's that scene with Cara Dune and yeah. And, and, and I think what I really like about that is it showed that time had passed on Navarro, um, which we see later when the town sort of everybody's wearing colorful clothing, and then the very coolest thing of all on Navarro's streets, talk about it. <laughs> When they're walking that, by, yeah, yeah, I, I almost missed it, and then because it was a thing that I, I was sitting there and it just caught my eye, and I was like, "Didn't he die?" And then I realized, "Oh, it's a statue." <laughs> so I mean that 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 was that was that was so awesome, and it's sort of the show building on its own mythology, which I really like. And then we go to the bar, which, as far as I remember, got completely blown away, and it's a school, and they have yeah. The, I have, I have a lot of props today, so they have a yeah, there you go. Board, yeah. And so uh, that that robot is sort of teaching children. And then we have that we have that great scene where I, I mean, in a way, it's like basically what we have is uh, the child is stealing macarons from, from the kid next to him. And I'm kind of like, you know, I, I always I always worry a little when they expose the force. Like yeah. it feels, it feels to me that that kid would have like just grabbed those those macarons back, but whatever. Yeah. It's it's kind of there for a joke. And then and then and then anyway, we're we see Nithral again. He's the the blue guy from the first episode, which I really like. And uh, yeah. and then all of a sudden we're attacking an imperial base, and you realize that the siege, it's actually them performing the siege. Like usually yeah. when, when when you think of a siege, it's just like oh you know we're trapped behind the walls or whatever, but. But in this case, it was actually them going and doing it, and 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 it was just like tons and tons of tons of uh, delicious action. Yeah, it was it was really good. Um, one thing that happened in this episode that I, I guess I should have known, but when Mando says that Moff Gideon is dead, I'm like, you know he's not dead. But then it dawned on me, like, no, he didn't know that he wasn't dead. We as the audience knew that. And that really was like, oh, and I totally knew that like as soon as he landed and uh, grief was like, yeah, fix up his ship. It's there was that one little giveaway of the guy almost looking straight at the camera like, oh, I'm going to be a bad guy. And that was a little too much for me, but I forgave okay, it because the rest. 
but 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 here's something uh, again i haven't seen anywhere else on the internet yet but i'm sure it'll be everywhere that guy looks really quite a lot like a character named ochi in the rise of skywalker and that's the guy who has the knife in the rise of skywalker he's dead he's in the snake cave his skeleton is in the snake cave and so and the imperial woman i know i did that too and the so the imperial woman she's like you will be rewarded well rewarded in the new era so that's written to make us think about the new era and we're talking to that guy now he's a slightly different color his eyes are a little yeah. different, but 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 honestly his face shape is the same he's got something around his head just like OG yeah. does in rise of skywalker and there's sort of a crease right in the middle of his forehead so so they designed him to be at least the same race whether or not it's the same guy and once again there are only 35 people in the star wars universe that all know <laughs> um, but i mean I, I i just kind of like right i would and I had to go back and look and, and, and make sure, but it was just like, yeah, I think that's what they're making us want. Hmm. Like, they're trying to make us think that, whether or not it's actually him. Because it, it, it'd it be funny if that guy just sort of starts off as a mechanic on, on Borrow, and, you know, having this weird kind of role in a Scooby-Doo mystery that happened completely off screen in, in The Rise of Skywalker. Luke was yeah. looking for holocrons and all that garbage. But um yeah, anyway, I thought that was really cool. So there, there's a bit of this. This is why we do this show is because we notice these things. <laughs> yeah, right? that just I actually didn't notice the statue, by the way, my, my friend did. So but I knew but once you did, I was like, okay, you go with it. Yeah, I, I did not pick up on that at all. That is that is that is, you just blew my mind right there. I, I, I was like, I, well, I didn't. The, the other thing, too, is what is all of this Moff Gideon business with because they call it M counts, like the two mm -hmm. scientists who get blown away, they talk about M counts. So M is midichlorians, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. So basically they're taking blood from the child and putting it into clones for sure. And those clones that we see, that my, my head really opened up there. I'm like, okay, so is this the beginning of, like according to the canon of the rise of Skywalker, Palpatine is a clone. I don't like mm -hmm. that. I like that his skeleton fingers are because he crawled his way out of like the ruins of the second Death Star. But whatever. Um, there seemed to be some cloniness hanging around anyway. But but regardless, I mean, this is 30 years before that. So I mean, whatever yeah. project this is, it's in its infancy stages. And so what we have is all these guys in a, you know, all these kind of mutant uh, misformed creatures in 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 the test tubes, basically the giant test yeah. tubes. And to me, they kind of, I'm like, are those supposed to be Darth Vader's? Are those supposed to be Palpatine's? Are those supposed to be super soldiers? Like, I don't know what, but, but you know, that this is the mystery box that we're dealing with right now. But it, yeah. it, we do have to kind of think that, especially because that one commander said, you know, the new age, like we are, we are moving towards the first order. And I kind of mm -hmm. like, and, and I kind of like the idea that the first order might actually be referring to an order, which is get the emperor back in charge of the empire. Because right. in the last episode, we had that beautiful crash scene and the guy biting down on his, you know, electric yeah. suicide pill and all that. And it's just like long live the empire. So I mean, this this is this is Moff Gideon's reason for being. Yeah. No, I I I would have to agree. I found that I, I did come to the same conclusion that you were is that or they're clearly taking the blood from the child and uh i i immediately jumped to the emperor clone thing like even in the eu comics which of course are no longer canon anymore um the they had established that the emperor even i believe it even the emperor on the death star in return of the jedi was actually a clone and right. he's just been doing this for you know however long to keep him alive for as long as he is uh, and they clearly got pretty good at doing it. So, um, but it was, it was definitely one of those things of like, like that final shot when they're just going out and you're just seeing what looks like death troopers. Mm -hmm. I, I think. Cylons, so really? <clears throat> yeah. Like they looked, they looked kind of like suits, but also like they're machines. I don't think those are soldiers that like, I don't think stormtroopers would go in them because right. the, the way some of their design was, it looks like they're, Anyway, but then you, you pan back and it just keeps going and going and going. And they intentionally, 
when they show you the, the, the test tube characters, they intentionally, like, you can't really tell. Like, you get a look, what is that? I'm not sure, weird, like, things on the side of the head, so. Yeah, we're not, we're not meant to know at this point, like, all of this is, what is that, what is that? And we're, we're yeah. meant to be as excited as we are. It's kind of funny because I, in a way, I would sort of say this was kind of a nothing episode. Like, really, in, a, in a lot of ways, it just kind of felt like, I, not necessarily a placeholder, but it was just sort of like, we were sort of led to believe that the the big quest is for Mando to get the child to Ahsoka, but mm -hmm. all of a sudden we're dipping into this Empire stuff. So, and it, it felt kind of a throwaway until I would say the very end. Um, well, I mean, you know, once we see the, once we see the uh, the experimental clones and 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 these suits, it's just sort of like, okay, well, this is making all that bigger. And yeah. and I really appreciate that they're doing that all in the context of this show's narrative. Because I mean, <clears throat> you remember me whining last week about you know, <laughs> too much into the old cartoons. I mostly retract. I don't know. I was in a bad mood or something because I, I did rewatch that and I liked it a lot more. Um, my friend uh, Janice mentioned that that the uh the mandalorians were like power rangers yeah <clears throat> i think i think that you know something about all that uh, annoyed me but but with uh with bo katan if you go back and rewatch that episode like look at the way she looks at the child and look at the way she's looking at mando every time i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of awesome evil in there and i'm i'm, I'm kind of i am actually really jazzed to see where that goes now and I think all these pieces are coming together. So we have these these various threads. We have the Mandalorian planet thread. We have everything that um, Moff Gideon's up to. We have the, you know, still the carrot of Ahsoka who we're gonna, I'm gonna guess see like in the last scene of the the next episode or something like that. Like she'll oh, say Matt. No way. The next the next episode's being directed by Dave Filoni. I think she's gonna be all over that episode. I think, yeah, you think she's, you think she yeah. did? I, Okay, well let's we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be like I'm looking for Ambassador Spock. Indeed, you have found him. Like, you know, we <laughs> but we'll see anyway because it, I mean, if you you know back to what I said last week, it's like Ahsoka. I think you know she's obviously not going to be the solution. No. for what to do with Baby Yoda. Like it's going to be like oh no, forget all those people. Um, anything neat new stuff? Uh, I, did you notice in the end credits they had that little that little weasel creature? Yeah, um, yeah, and he's like breathing fire on one of those butt face guys. <laughs> I thought that, and one of them was kind of scarred on his face. I thought, yeah, I thought that guy was cool. Was there anything else that you like the statue, that guy, anything, any other cool stuff that you can think of? Not that I think I, I no. That the humor in the episode was was on point. Not too much, but definitely, uh, uh, definitely there. So you can kind of catch like a little bit of a break, but. Um, no, I, I don't think I have any other secret stuff. Humor but, though, you know. you're, 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 you're on with, well, you're, you're definitely right about the jokes. I mean, that, that first scene with the wire was so funny. Like, you know, no, no, not the blue one. <laughs> like, it's like, if you've ever tried to get like a four-year-old to do anything, it's like, forget it. Um, and then I, I love that, uh, Nithral is like, you know, you know, he's basically like, there's no guardrails on this thing. And I love that. Oh, that was great. Right. Like I, we've always made fun of that kind of thing. Yeah. And then. And then, and then uh, again, we see um, we see Paul Sun Hyung Lee uh, as Carson at yeah. the end, and I really like that, like him going to Cara Dune. He's like, you know, there's something going on out here. Yeah, which is great. I mean, we we obviously know there's something going on, and then right away we see the Moff Gideon scene. But that's something going on. I I I feel like there's kind of two cool things. Like they might be setting up their own thing that has nothing to do with the sequels. Mm -hmm or they're driving us right up the driveway of the sequels. It's just going to take 30 years for some yeah. reason. All that. But I mean, you know, from the prequel, like they're, they're already building the Death Star like 20 years before Star Wars at the yeah. end of Revenge of the Sith. So the Empire moves slow on things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually, you just reminded me of the, uh, the tidbit that he threw out about her being from Alderaan. Mm -hmm. I thought was very interesting. I was like, uh, and it was, I know that some people, not uh, not me, um, have criticized her acting. Uh, I think this episode, she blatantly proves she's a fantastic actress. She plays this part perfectly. And her her little moment that she gives herself at the end of that episode, I thought was really wonderful and very moving. I think it's uh, I think she's very, very good and people should lay off. <laughs> well, 
like the, there is something the, the acting in this show Nithral, Cara Dune and Grief Karga all do sort of act in kind of a a, 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 a 70s TV wooden sort of way in a sense but yeah. it's it seems like it's 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 really fit for the show I like it like whether whether or not I'm but 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 for sure I was emotionally quite moved at the end where she's looking at that little token that yeah, Carson medallion or something yeah what do you think that was I it looks like it would be like maybe um maybe a soldier's patch mm -hmm. like the something that they maybe wore on their arm or something like that because yeah. commonly we see those the the rebel symbol not with a background so like if it's on an arm or something like that it's just the crest and a circle around it this was completely filled in right. so i don't know if that maybe came off of like a ship or a, a, a suit of armor maybe yeah it was, it was i mean it, it it would be weird if police were walking around with medals to give people <laughs> and I, I, love, I love that i love them as cops too <laughs> I love that whole thing, and and yeah. and Matt o says, you know, I had a run in with the New Republic, which is hilarious. But anyway, more and more mysteries. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I I really dig this episode too, even though I don't know why. I I still feel there's something kind of throwaway about it, but hmm. it did move. It did do all the things that I kind of want, so I'm not complaining about it at all. Especially <laughs> after the mess of last week. Like I, I apologize for that. I really was in, in a weird headspace. That was a that was a great great episode. Yeah. You yeah, so know, far the season is is far better than the first season, in my opinion. I'm really yeah, they it. have not even even though it's 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 getting heavy, right? Like there's yeah. there are a lot of moving parts, a lot of details and stuff, and I'm I'm always worried about it getting too MCU ish, where there's just like like you you encounter a problem in the MCU and you're like, well, the Hulk could deal with this in five yeah. seconds, kind of thing. But but I mean, like yeah, no, I, uh, I I'm I'm all over it, and and this time last season we were talking about. Um, that episode with the ATST. Oh right. So you know that to me that was one of the worst ones. But uh, so far they haven't really pooped the bed at all. So nope. It's been great. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and what are you looking forward to uh, by the end? Where, where do you think the season's going to go from here? What do you, we figure? We got maybe three more episodes. I think it's four now. So we're how we reached four. the halfway point, which which in in narrative terms, like often we're at a at a real or at a real high point or a real low point mm -hmm. but it's kind of like oh we're just kind of hanging around like he's he's still just sniffing around for uh for baby yoda's friends i think to be honest i think the propeller that will tend that'll take us into the next season will be at the end of the season the empire will have their hands on the child mm -hmm. i think that narratively that's what's going to have to happen because and not that he's lax in terms of he's always like the kid goes where I go kind of thing. Um, I think that that's going to be way, way more. I think that's what's going to end up happening is I think the bad guys are going to have to get their hands on the kid. And yeah. then he's going to have to fight all through the next season to try to get it back, you know, yeah. going behind enemy lines, things like that. I think that's, I think that's where we're headed. Empire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like showing off my toys <laughs> last week what about I a, you uh i think I, th I i agree with you i think they're gonna do kind of you know it's season two uh favreau obviously loves the original trilogy a lot so empire strikes back was a a a, a sort of sad downer ending um and so uh, i i suspect it will be very cliffhangery and uh and we'll be like ah going crazy waiting for it but uh man i love this show uh, yeah. yeah great first four episodes so uh i guess we'll see everybody next week unless you have anything else no yeah. i'm good okay this is the way yeah peace out this is the